Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And for this month, I'm doing things a little bit of differently, wherein I'm just checking in with the energy that might be manifesting uh, for each and every sign of the zodiac so that you know instead of going through the deeper stuff emotionally for each and every one we're just taking a look on what is the most um significant factor that might be happening for each and every sign again this is still a general uh, reading so please do know that it may or may not tune in for each and every one of you guys it's just that we want to focus on the energy that is in place within the month of july and so we will know how we should be able to navigate this entire month um, whether we are on the right path or doing uh, something that's really good for us or if it's a warning of some kind, all those kinds of things. So, um, yeah. So, I, I do have a lot of decks here, but it's act basically giving us the same answer. So, what I'm doing here right now is what I very similar to a uh, reading th that I have on my website. It's called a recast method wherein... I'm focusing on one concern, one question, and you know, getting a lot of text that represents the answer to it, so that we get the probability of you know whatever information that we need to know. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading for those of you guys who are in the sign of Gemini. Okay, so um, if you guys notice there are a lot of similar factors here which is the three of spades we have the five of cups and the coffin card over here and you know needless to say there could be something that can be very painful disappointing that you know can be manifesting here at the same time we are seeing that there is a form of change that can also occur so there could be information flowing very much easily right now but it could also be that you might be finding out information that maybe you don't want to know or information that um that can be very much upsetting to you we do have the coffin the key card and the letter you know it's very much um self-explanatory it could be um finding out information that you did not know before that might be not what you wanted to hear it could also be manifesting wherein you know you are just finding out a secret from someone you know maybe they were hiding it before and now it's coming out of the closet that kind of energy we do have the king of swords as a first card of the deck along with the judgment card so this gives me a feeling we're in some form of information or flowing you know maybe through the internet through technology mobile devices um you know there's a lot of ideas you know swords is all about our thoughts and ideas it could also be with someone in particular it could be, you know, a, a signification of someone who is very much of an air sign or someone who is detached, um, someone who is not very much committing to you and you are, you know, maybe going to be talking to them, finding out what this relationship is all about. Since we do have, you know, Saturn, the seventh house, and in the sign of Scorpio here, we are, you know, seeing a bigger picture that this could be a very challenging month in terms of relationships in general. So this could be, you know, just talking with a partner and there could be some form of tears and upsets one way or another. It could be that there is a tendency to to have some form of you know um argument or some form of conversations that can give you a lot of confusion all those kinds of things so it's very much possible that maybe you are already in a relationship and things are already 
quite frisky and there are already things that are not really making you happy at this time especially we have this the whip and the and the ring card all together in the past it's like telling us that something is not already making you happy in the relationship or something is not really very much healthy in the relationship and you are going to be coming to a point wherein there's going to be some form of communication with that person and maybe things don't really pan out um, in a very positive way or in a way that um, makes you happy and this might actually you know lead you to a decision wherein you know you need to make a choice about a relationship you know i really don't know what that really can manifest for you guys but the advice card that we have here is to choose peace and this is really more um this second card is the isabel card isabella card and this is talking about the timing you know having the right time to do things and know that there is going to be positive outcome at the end of the day so this can be a point wherein you know maybe you don't want to undertake something there is something that you're trying to avoid but you know it has to happen whether it's something that's going to be very happy for you or not we cannot you know be at the point wherein we are just trying to feel good and do things that are happy for us i kind of feel here that you know this is a point wherein you guys need to talk you know you guys need to talk and get real about certain things in the relationship but at the same time try to be civil you know it's not about lashing out and getting angry or you know um being disappointed with a lot of things this is about finding solution and finding resolution on how to you know resolve issues all those kinds of things this is not about you just wallowing on pity wallowing on things that did not work out this is not about you just bringing up the past because i kind of feel that that is actually a possibility you know you might be bringing up the past quite often and that might lead to you know um things that doesn't really have some form of solution and you know it's going to be you know going on circles if that is the case so um yeah this is the time for you to to get real on commitment and what you should do about it should you be moving on should you be you know um changing your ways and how to deal with the relationship there is something that you need to express but not not just in a very emotional way you you need to express what you are thinking and feeling all at the same time and to see where this relationship goes we are seeing here that some form of contract or some form of um like understanding between you and the other person is going to come up at the end of the day though it's just that the process of how you get there might be very challenging again we are dealing with a Satur saturnian energy here so it's very much common that there could be something that can restrict us you might feel some form of limitation disappointment and this is not me being negative and all that i kind of feel that whatever that you are go experiencing and will be experiencing during this time it's something that is meant to happen it's something that you need to undergo so that the two of you or you you enter in that relationship that is a lot more healthier those kinds of things so this is not the time for you know um flimsy um feel good moments this is a time wherein you need to get real on the relationship do we even have a relationship are we in a relationship or are, are we just on in a fling this can also be a moment wherein maybe you're still not over from your past and this is the time for you to you know to finally move forward and maybe finally move on and let the past be the past you know there is something that you need to put an end point into things basically is what the biggest energy here because it's time for you to move forward and i kind of feel that you know you are going to make the step 
to you know regardless of whether to go back to the past which i feel that you are not gonna do so because you are going to realize that you know it's time for you to move on it's time for you to move forward to the to the present and to the future and this is what really the biggest energy is all about you will realize this whether you like it or not so yeah the biggest message here is it's time for you to you know to stop um to stop giving yourself reason to be very miserable in life and it's time for you to move forward and have a new beginning maybe with a new chapter and a new relationship and it's time for you to let go what you cannot fix anymore those kinds of things so um yeah um i hope that this will give insight and clarity to some of you guys um, since I don't think that this is going to be manifesting for each and every, you know, um, Gemini's out there. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do want a more personal reading specifically for you, you can do that by booking a session through my website, In the Stars by Chrissy. And I shall see you guys again next month. Okay.